video, we're going to look at getting your programs to pass the hand in check. I have an assignment here from CS151 that has the homework check turned on. I can run check. I'm inside of some directory for the H2 assignment. All right, and I get this from the homework check. And we'll just start looking at the first one of these, which is annoying.py. And what we want to do, first I'm going to put up here the program. So this is a program that has some mistake. I'll put this program here. This right here is an example transcript. So if the program is run, this is what it would look like. It also includes the what the user typed there. So I'm going to put that there and open up a new shell. So I can run run it and compare side by side. So I'm going to browse to this directory where this is, which is not important. Okay, so here we are and I can run this now and let's see what it looks like compared to what's over there. What do we have to, why do we have to do this? And I should type, because I said so, why, I just told you, why, because, and then okay. All right, so what do we see that looks different? Um, so the first thing that you notice is the, um, the spaces. So I could fix that by doing let's start this again. All right, so I can fix the spaces by putting an extra space here. And let's try to run it again and see. Okay, so we need to actually save it. All right, let's open it back up. All right, it's saved and we're going to run again. So that looks better. All right, now do you see a difference? There is a difference and if you don't see then pause and just stare. Um, it's this double question mark. So that double question mark also needs to get fixed. If we run it again, it's going to look pretty much like that. And then we can try to run the check again. And now that program is checking out as okay. The others are still wrong. Where is the annoying why? right here. Okay, let's look at convert weight. We have a couple different convert weights here. We'll look at one of them. Okay, here's the example transcript um, where there's two example transcripts. So this is supposed to be running at two different times and seeing what would be printed. Um, asks for a number, we type one. It prints out that one pound would be equal to 0.45 kilograms. And if you were doing one kilogram, it would be 2.2 pounds. Now you can already see that this is not gonna print exactly like that, but we can run it so that we can look, look at it side by side. Um, and I'll type one. All right, now that does not look 
the same. Um, so this program is asking for miles, but we're supposed to ask for number. This program is printing miles and kilometers. And this over here is looking for pounds and kilograms. So it looks like actually this program probably um, was copied as the starting point, but then they didn't modify it to do it like this. So let's take a look at another one. Okay, so this one looks closer. We'll run this one and see. All right, number, that's a good start. That looks just like that right there. Let's type one and compare. So that's not the same. Here it said one pound is this many kilograms. Over here we have, this is the one kilogram to one pound on both, both parts. So we do have this part looking good where there's pound equal kilogram, kilogram equal pound, just like up here, but then we just have the, um, the numbers wrong. Um, so down here, if we look at this one, this here is the right number, but this over here should have been just number instead of kilograms. So I think just N right there, whatever they typed. And then if we look up here, um, instead of this number here we should also be typing printing just the number that they typed let's go ahead and run it like that just to see okay so now the second line looks good the first line we've got this 2.2 instead of this 0.45 and that is the kilograms so that was coming from here, and that needs to be a times instead of a divide, I think. That looks okay, and we could try it with 40. And that looks okay as well. At least I don't notice any problems right away. Let's, um, I'm going to copy that to be called convert weight so that we can run the check and see if it likes it. That's okay now. All right, let's take a look at the next one, elements. Uh, let's look at elements dot pi. Uh, this one doesn't have the example transcript anymore. What about the other one? This one does, so that makes it easier to compare. Um, so here we're asking for the most abundant element in the Earth's crust by mass, and they get a chance to type. And then it tells them the answer. So let's run what we have to see how it matches up. And this is already not the same because here it's it's asking like this and this is slightly different so I know that I'm going to need to change this because all the check is doing is comparing letter by letter that it's giving the same okay and we've also got potentially the space issue and that's probably going to be the case in all of the inputs. So we'll go ahead and fix all of the inputs here. So next time we run it. Um, next time we run it those spaces should look good. All right, so now this is suggesting that the person typed O. We'll type O over here as well. 
oxygen, next most. Si, silicon, next most. C, aluminum. So that looks okay. Actually, this says aluminum. This says aluminum. So that's going to be a change. Aluminum, that's what they, that's what you call aluminum in British countries. So aluminum, they typed next thing, don't know. I'm just going to hit enter here. Let's see how the rest of these look. Iron's okay. Calcium, sodium, magnesium, potassium. That's a problem because there's a lowercase p over here and an uppercase p in the program. So let's change that. And let's see. That looks better. All right. Now we can run the check and see if it passes or not. And we'll call that elements.py so the check will find it. Okay, so it's still saying that there's a problem. And here we can look at when it ran our program and it ran the correct program these are the output so actually this first print statement I didn't quite get it the same um, and if the example transcript is the definition of how it's supposed to print then I may as well copy and paste to make sure I get it letter for letter. Okay, so there's a there's a problem here and you can tell there's a problem because of the highlighting. Um, so I started my string here with a single quote and when I get to the single quote from the Earth's crust it thinks the string is done. So in programming, if we wanted to say don't treat this single quote as the end of the string, the way to do that is with a slash. That's called escaping the character, an escape character. So it's not green anymore and we can see um, we can see how it prints Uh, that was still in number two, so. There's the Earth's crust. All right, so now let's try to run the check again. Now it's okay with elements. Let's move on to how many. Okay, here's how many, and let's just see if we try to run it. Um, so we get a syntax error. So this is a program where we're supposed to fix syntax errors, and there's the first one right there, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, need to fix the error. So when we run check, we will see in check there's how many. It says, okay, this is not correct for some input. It doesn't actually print the input there, but it did run the program and this was the output of the program, a syntax error. So if you see something like this, this that means that it ran your program and there was an error. Um, and this was the correct for whatever input it was testing on. Okay, so I'm going to leave that the way it is, and we're on to math operations.
Uh, all right, so here's one with an example transcript. It's asking for number six and number four. It shows six plus four equals, lets us um, wait, press enter, and then see the result. So without even looking at the code, let's go ahead and run this one. That's math operations. Okay, number, and I'm going to type 6 and 4. 6 plus 4 equals, that looks good so far. Uh, well, actually, that's so that doesn't look the same. Enter when ready, this says enter to see answer. So I know wherever I have enter when ready, I'm going to have to change over here to enter to see answer. Let's go ahead and fix those. Okay, but let's keep, um, we can keep going. All right, so if I press enter, there's 10. And over here, it goes straight into the next operation, six minus four. Over here, it's asking for the number again. I could type six and four, and then it kind of shows the right thing. But over here, it's not asking for the number again. So that's another thing that we have to fix over here, that it's not supposed to be asking for the number each time. And I'll just do, I'll put a comment there in case we want those to come back again, that let's not ask, we will use the same number each time. Let's try it again. Scroll this back up so we can check the sample transcript. Six and four. Okay, so we see a 10 and a six minus four, but here in the example transcript, there's a empty line after the 10. And the 10 was called product here. It's not actually a product. But so um, printed 6 plus 4, enter to see answer, compute the answer, print it, and then a new line. So I'm going to copy paste that after I print the answer each time to put a new line. And I'm going to close this. Control C. Six, four. Okay, so now I've got that empty line now. There's a two. Okay, so now I see something different again. There's the six times four over here. It is six X four. And that is instead of the star, an X. I'm gonna close it and start it again. Looking good so far. That looks okay. Let's run the check and see. All right, now that passes. Um, and those new lines 
there are those blank lines, they actually can um, make the check fail. So we can try, there was somebody that actually had everything right except for um, just missing this last empty line. The check didn't like that. The check wanted it to have the same number of lines. Right, and that's the end. So there's other um, there's other variations of incorrect things, but I think we'll leave it there. Um, so this is building your skill in paying attention to detail. And if your assignment has a a sample transcript, then follow it to the letter. And if you're not sure, then you can ask. Um, part of the reason that we use the check is that if you pass the check, then that is an objective, clear decision that you pass the check program. Um, and if you don't, well, how wrong is it? Is it is it wrong? What if you did the wrong conversions or something? What if you just so? Did